Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have five teams for you for the World Event and the Faction Assault, including my Pure Faction team for the Dark Pits. So you'll see that in here somewhere. I'll try to put in chapters and whatnot for you. But here is the first team. This is for the World Event. I like it, man. I like the, the Bat Swarms. They do true damage. They're the only thing in this whole event that does true damage to all enemies. I got three of them there. It's a super low rarity troop using Mountain Crusher, which is a super low level weapon that you get with uh, Brown Mastery super early in the game. So I think anybody could use this team to do their share for all rewards in the entire game. Anybody that uh, at least has three Bat Swarms, which isn't very hard to do because they're only rare. Um, I think this is a good team for a lot of people here. So this is what I'm probably going to use. Um, sometimes I just leave it on whatever team I end on and just keep going with whatever that is. But uh, this is a good one here, for at least for the no-no-no, the uh, epic and under uh, team right here. Um, it does transform into a Nosferatu, but you you don't really need the Nosferatu. Like, you're going to cast the three Bat Swarms, do true damage three times, and they'll be dead, I'm pretty sure, by the time you have to even mess with the Nosferatu. Um Every time I've cast the Bat Swarm, it cleared in one shot so far, but I'm not very far into the event. But, hey, you know that also means I don't have, like, a ton of medals or badges to give myself extra spell damage. So, it goes both ways there. Um, we have extra spell damage and only extra spell damage this time. So, you know my theory on these events. You want to hit all enemies with spell damage. You don't want to be hitting one or two or, you know... You want to hit as many as you can. So if you hit two, it's okay. If you hit three, it's even better. If you hit everybody, it's the best, in my opinion. So if you're doing like a team out there where, um, you know, they get up really fast and they hit two enemies, that's not bad. It's not bad. But the t the, the times that my bat swarm's going to kill in one shot, it's just going to make up make it up in the end. All the easy battles are going to die so fast that it just makes it up in the end. True damage just skips right by their armor. I don't know. I'm just down with the bat swarm this week. All right, and the uh, second team here, this is a more high-level team, uh, uses a legendary troop, the um, Willow. So we got a Mountain Crusher once again. I mean, everything is brown in this event, so I think Mountain Crusher is kind of the way to go. It's an explodey weapon that makes a brown storm, um, and you need brown mana for every single troop. So Mountain Crusher, if you can't think of a good weapon to use in this event, Think about Mountain Crusher, I guess. Uh, but we're using Willow this time. Willow does hit pretty hard, and I doubled up on the Willow. I threw a Stone Viper on the end. Um, now that I got it, uh, when I did my video on Monday, I didn't even have the Stone Viper yet. It's pretty good. I like it. It makes some yellow, and then it turns that yellow into brown, and it's like a uh, Swift. So in an event where you have an enchant potion um it's going to get up on second turn every single time so that's why he's on the bottom of the team like i don't even need it to get mana it's just going to get up through the enchant potion so if i happen to still need some mana after i cast the mountain crusher or something then i'll cast the stone viper and that'll get up the willow and the cool thing about the um the stone viper it puts a bunch of brown on the board so even if you're not just using it to get up the willows you can then use it for damage with the willows because the willows do extra damage depending on how many brown that they that they uh destroy in the row that they choose so choose a row with a lot of brown in it and uh you should one shot with these willows and if not you got a second one and even if you don't do it in two shots you got a mountain crusher a stone viper to get them back up again so yeah i think you can go all the way with willow as well but Bat Swarm, Willow, um, Duskbringer, Black Manacles, um, uh, Mid Swarm, uh, Archimedes even, uh, Barcast, whatever his name is. Um, there's a few good options in this event. I don't think you can go wrong, really, with whatever you choose, because there's a lot of um, troops that hit all enemies or multiple enemies, and that's what we, we want to see. And whatever you're using, put it in the comments, and you're probably fine with whatever you're using, because there's a lot of stuff you can use. Here's my pure faction team for uh, Dark Pits. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. You'll have to check it. I'll, I'll, um, I'll link my pure faction video for the Dark Pits at the end of this video. You should see it in the upper left-hand corner in the final, like, 15 seconds of the video. When I'm saying goodbye and everything, there should be a... Unless you're on, like, a mobile, maybe. But uh, if you're on, like, a laptop or a TV or most things, you'll see a video linked at the end in the upper left-hand corner. And that should be my Dark Pits pure faction video if I have one. And um, this is what I think I did, because this is what was still loaded in um, to my team. 
And in that, I have Dark Pits at 2,500. I did Pure Faction. I did Deathless. Um, and this was what was there. I don't know if... The only thing I'm worried about is if I was trying to show somebody what I thought my Pure Faction team was. And it was loaded in because of that. But I went Hex Rat, Plague Rat, Hex Rat, Hex Rat. So the Hex Rat hits all enemies as long as you target the first enemy. And it does a little dance with, like, Death Marks, too, I'm pretty sure. Like, it has, like, a... If it curses... Like, if you do Skull Damage, I think it curses or something, and then you, like, if you if you hit it with your spell, it'll also Death Mark, so, um, I don't know. This is what did it for me. Like I said, all I can ever show y'all is what worked for me, and, and explain why it worked for me, and whatnot. There could be a better Pure Faction team out there using, like, Sledge Paw or something, but... I'm not going to, like, continue to, to refine my Pure Faction team once I'm done. And this is what, what worked for me and what got it done for me. So all I can do is show you that and then um, go from there. I'm not going to, like, keep refining it because I'm already done with it. Like, that would be a waste of time for me. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm totally free to play. So that's how I go about things. This is the team I use to get it done. This is what worked for me. And since I'm totally free to play, you can also do it too. So... That's what that was my pure faction team. Um, hex rack, plague rat, hex rat, hex rat. I'm pretty sure, right? Or I say I'm, I said I'm opposite, didn't I? Whatever, whatever it is. Three of the one that hits all enemies, and then the one that one mana generator that explodes. Anyway, here is your low level team for the faction assault. Um, use Rowan. You got green, you got brown. Might as well. Uh, usually you want the Mirage Queen on here, but. In that it's the Epic and Under team anyway, I can't show the Mirage Queen since the Mirage Queen is a legendary troop. So this kind of works out for me today. I almost showed a Triple Persistence Lupine's Edge, but I know I know like not everybody has those weapons that you need for those Guardian teams. Um, definitely put it on your uh, list for things to acquire, though. Like if you see those weapons, because I, I like the Guardian teams, man. You got one of each color. They do double damage to the, that color. You know, they're all pretty good. So keep an eye out for, like, Lupine's Eds, Rage, Rage Reaver, uh, Nish, uh, Bow of Nisha, or whatever it's called, and whatever it's called. The Nimbus Bow, not the Nisha Bow. What are you talking about? Nimbus Bow, Rage Reaver, Lupine's Edge, all that good stuff. Stone Slicer. But Rowan, you guys know Rowan. Even though, like, I do see in my analytics people looking up Rowan team, um, it's basically just Rowan with Leprechaun. Most of the time, with either a weapon that uh, gets up Rowan or boosts Rowan's armor, that's usually the way you go. Like, if it's a low-level deal, you kind of want something that, um, you know, is probably going to help her clear clear stuff out, like Black Manacles. If you're 100% sure your Rowan's going to clear in one shot, then you use, like, a, a Mountain Crusher or something just to help it get up even faster. Um, and if you know that you're going to need extra armor to do extra damage, you use the Shield of Urskaya. So, when we're doing a faction event... Early on, you might not need the Shield of Urskaya, and then later on, you switch into it because you're going to have to cast the Shield of Urskaya on your Rowan to make it do more damage. And since we can't use the Mirage Queen, we just double up on the Leprechaun. Um, you can also do the Truffle Shuffle here, by the way. Um, you can also do Triple Persistence Lupine's Edge. You can do Triple um, Defiance. Uh, I forget the weapon for that one. Somebody will put it in the comments. Um, but here is the um, high-level team for the Faction Assault. And you could do a couple different things with this as well. You could do um, Guard's Avatar with Sir Quentin Hadley. I think that's the way most people are going to go. So instead of going with that, I went with this, uh, the Psycho Missy. And if you really, really want to, you can throw Tourmaline on the bottom of this team instead of Megavore. Like if you're all excited about that uh, super average mythic, then you can throw it on the bottom instead of the Megavore. I just like the Death Below going off every once in a while. I think it's fun to instantly kill things. Um because I'm doing a bunch of extra turns with Sycorax. But this is also my brown Guild Wars team, mostly. I think I changed the uh, the class or something. But I used uh, two Nisha Metals and a Nanu. And you cast the Mountain Crusher, you get up the Sycorax, you cast the Sycorax on brown a bunch of times until you get Mistralis up. You cast Mistralis every time you got her because she's an extra turn. You keep on doing like Sycorax, then Mistralis, Sycorax, then Mistralis, Sycorax, all on brown mana. Like just shoot that Mountain Crusher, make a brown storm, Put that Sycorax on brown, make even more brown, get up the Mistralis, cast it, cast the Sycorax on brown again, get up the Mistralis, cast it, cast the Sycorax on brown again, get up the Mistralis, cast it, you know what I mean? And all the while that Megavore might be doing death below. And you're gaining HP. 
But yeah, that's it for today. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. Uh, up in the left upper hand corner, if I have one. I'll do the pure faction video for Dark Pits for you. And I need I know I owe some shout outs too, but I'll get them next time. Peace.